Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a tutorial to bring to you today. It's just my coloring. I have this um, image from CC Designs, which is Cupid. I purchased it from the Not Too Shabby Shop. So I am just going to color it in for a Valentine's project that I'm working on. I'm doing the skin tones right now using E50, E51, and E53. Those are my go-to colors. Um, just to let you know, I have sped this up so that uh, I can get it in in under 10 minutes. <laughs> and I'm giving my try of doing a voiceover, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> my finger's doing pretty good, so the coloring wasn't too bad. Um, it still hurts when I bend it and press too much on it, though, so... I'm just putting the cheeks in here with R11. And I do it while it's still wet so you don't really need to blend. So then I'm going to color her arms and her legs. Um, I hadn't decided at that point if I was going to cut the image out or leave her as is. So I was trying to stay within the lines. And you'll see later on where I go in and try and clean it up a bit. So now I'm going to color up her dress. I'm just using a light pink color, R12 and R14. Um, it kind of looks a little peachy, but when it's done, it's um, it's like a coral pink. And I know these two colors are pretty off on the color scheme, but once you blend them in, they look pretty good together. And it does give a nice highlighting with the darker tones. So works good. At this point I had picked out some red colors to do a nice dark red, R37, R39, and R59. And I'm just doing the trim of her dress, her shoes, um, and then later on I used the same colors for her bow and the hearts. You do have to watch your reds because they are very saturated so they can bleed. You don't want to use too much color. So always color them lightly when you're doing the red colors. I was going to color her bow and then I decided I wanted to do the hair first because the hair is a lighter color. So I picked out um, a new blonde colors that I haven't used just yet. Um, and I noticed also that I forgot to color her ear so I did that <laughs> real quick. <laughs> so for the hair I used Y21, YR23, and YR24. Turns out to be a really nice blonde color. When I was uh, speeding up this video, I was listening back while I was doing it of my own voice, and uh, 
it was like the munchkins were talking to you about coloring. So, especially when I laughed, it was very funny. I was tempted to leave some of that in there. <laughs> so this is just the long process of coloring the hair, just doing light flick marks. I always go light, medium, dark, and then medium, light to blend everything in together. At this point, I was just using my colorless blender to clean up some of the edges. I did end up cutting her out with a little bit of a white border, so cleaning it up did uh, make it look a little bit better. I didn't go out on the lines too much, but... And then the BG Quadruple Zero, that's what I use on the wings. I just use a little bit, and then I use the blender to blend it out, just to get a little bit of shading on there. And then afterwards, I did fill it in with stickles, because I wanted her wings to be all glittery. Um, this is just using the red colors again to do the bow and the hearts. Again, they're R37, R39, and R59. As I'm finishing up the hearts here, I'll just let you know I do have a finished project I will be sharing, showing this image. If you enjoyed this, uh, the way that I did this with the speed coloring, please let me know. Um, I know it was about uh, 17 minutes, so I figured it was too long, so that's why I sped it up. So Leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks!